All right, this video is all about questions in Google Classroom. And there's a couple of different scenarios. One, you can do a short answer question, and two, you can do a multiple choice question. And I'm gonna give you some different situations where this might be handy. But the first thing I need to do is actually create a question. So in the Classwork tab, I'll click on Create and choose Question. Now, when you get here, you'll first be able to ask your question, give instructions, add materials, by default, it's always at a short answer. You can choose which classes it goes to or specific students. You can change point totals, set due dates, arrange it by topic, as well as have some additional features as far as how students can interact with the question. In this case, I'm going to start out with multiple choice. And in this situation, I'm going to set it up like a poll so that students can see each other's responses. Because then what ends up happening is this can really be a good discussion starter for the class. So I'm gonna start out with a question. If I needed additional instructions, I could. In this case, I'm gonna say this. Okay, and so I have additional instructions. And then here's where you put your options. Okay, and then any of these options can be arranged just by clicking and dragging them around so that way it is in the order that you specifically want. You can add additional resources and you can add multiple resources when you do this. So this could be a fun way you could send them to a website, they could read the information and then vote. That would be a fun way to get things going. So here I can multi-post. I'm not going to multi-post today. You can choose specific students that you want it to go to. Uh, you can set a point total. I'm going to set this one as ungraded. You can set a due date, so that way it shows up on Google Calendar. And you can set a topic, so that way it's organized. And in this case, I'm going to do multiple choice questions. If you don't already have a topic, you can create topics here. Students can see the class summary. I want to keep that on. And then, of course, you can ask right now. You can schedule it or you can save it as a draft if you wanna work on it later. Let's say you just wanna get it started. And then you can also discard your draft so that way it gets trashed. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask away. So let's take a look at what the students see. So here's my student screen here. Make it nice and large so that way you can see it well. I have it set up so that way it's going straight to the stream. You'll see that actually shows up on the upcoming because I set a due date. I'm gonna to go to classwork here so you can see what it looks like from classwork. All right, and here is the question. I'll click on it. And what's nice is that the students can participate straight from here. Uh, if they want to view the whole question, they can click there as well. So now the student can then select their favorite one, hit turn in, and the teacher has an instant poll. The students can see the responses because that's how I had the question set up. The teacher gets those responses right here just by going back they can see an instant poll pop up and show it with the class and the class can see it okay so that's the first scenario and that allows the students to participate in a poll here's another way that you can use a multiple choice you could make it so that way students can't see each other's responses and you can provide a resource for them so again i'm going to hit create question I'm gonna switch this to multiple choice. I'm gonna ask a question. I'm gonna give additional instructions here. Give my answer choices. The other thing that's nice is that you can add or create options. You can create documents, et cetera. But in this case, I'm going to hit add because I have a YouTube video. If you have a video in Google Drive, you can also select there. Add any resources that you want. You can do a video search, but I have the link already, so I'm going to paste it in. And you can watch the video straight from here, actually, if you want to preview it just to make sure it's the right video, like so. Hit add. This case, I don't want it to be a poll. So since I don't want it to be a poll, I'm gonna turn off the ability for students to be able to see the summary. I just want a quick answer. And maybe actually, instead of making it ungraded, I'm gonna make this one point. Just a one point question. As always, I can ask now, schedule it, save it as a draft. 
In this case, I'm going to ask now. And here is my student screen. Let me go big here. This one is grayed out, meaning that I have already answered it. This one is not, meaning that I still need to answer it. So the students can then watch the video straight from here. This is nice. Puts it in a nice window. With everything else blacked out. They can go back and then they can answer. Now that the student has responded, the teacher can go into that question, see who has turned it in, and also see instant results. The nice thing is though, is that in this case, since I didn't want it as a poll, the student cannot see what their classmates answered. The only thing they can do is view their very own answer. So now when I click on turned in, I can see who these students are. When I click on this one, it shows me which student answered what. And then if I want to grade it, since I did put a point total here, I can give a grade and pop that in and return it to the student if need be. Let me go back to Google Classroom, click back on Classwork, and let's talk more about questions. The next type of question is a short answer. You can also create short answer questions where students are able to treat it more like a forum. So let's give an example. I'm going to keep it short answer. And here's my question. And then I can add instructions. And then you can make it whether or not the students can reply to each other or if they can edit their answers. In this case, I'm going to turn on the edit answer option just so that way you can see how it works. Again, you can always add whether or not you want to ask it now, schedule it, or save the draft. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose schedule so that way you can see that you can pick the date and the time and then hit schedule and it'll actually be scheduled there. If you decide, oh no, I don't want it at that time, then what I can do is go back to the question, hit edit. I can see the scheduled time here, and I can make adjustments to it if need be. If I don't want it scheduled anymore, I hit the X. I'm going to ask this now so you can see it. Let's take a look at my student screen here. Here's my new question that has not been answered. And it says, find resources that support your answer and share them along with your response. So I can hit view question. And this is where the short answer questions get a little convoluted because you see a comment space here and you see a comment space here and you see your answer here. Make sure students understand that they're supposed to answer over here. It makes things a little bit tricky as far as knowing exactly where to respond. Class comments is different. So then what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my response. And then they can add their links and press turn in. Now for the teacher, they can go over here, see who has turned it in, and see all the responses, and see any replies that take place. Then I can add in my own comments directly to this student. And reply to that student. Now this student will see that there's a reply underneath that one. The student can then return back see their answer and also see any replies. If they click on see classmate answers, they would see the entire class's response space. And this ends up being a big forum, so that way they can see exactly what's going on. If they wanna see a specific student's responses, they can click directly on that student, so that way they can see all of their responses. That's a quick way to access those. Then if they reply back, mm -hmm. they're able to reply back in this space so that way they can see the response as well as additional replies all lying within google classroom since the student is not being a good digital citizen what i need to do is take a look at the responses see that that's not appropriate i have a couple of options i can delete it or i can mute the student so if the student is being inappropriate and i just want to turn them off altogether i can hit mute and i can choose whether or not the comment is deleted and the problem with muting, though, is that they will not be able to reply to any other students. So if that's part of the assignment, that could be a problem. But they still can submit their first one. This also eliminates the ability for the student to add any comments elsewhere. 
So if this student goes to Google Classroom and tries to go to that assignment, you'll see that the class comments is blocked out. They can still do private comments though. And they can also see classmate answers as well as replies. When you don't want the student muted anymore, you can click on the three dots off to the right of that student, hit unmute, and then they're able to continue. Now within this, they can continue to add comments, which would go down this feed. But if they want to directly reply to someone or to a specific comment, then that can be added right here. So that's more of a forum style. Just make sure that the students reply and answer right in this space instead of over here in class comments or private comments. The last scenario is what if you wanna do an exit ticket style? You could do this multiple choice, but you could also do it as a short answer. So I'll show you that scenario. Let me get back to Google Classroom as the teacher, click on classwork, click on create, and click on question. I'm gonna add a question. I'm gonna keep it as a short answer. You can add instructions. I could add materials if I really wanted to. In this case, I'm not going to. And then what I'm going to do is set the point total. And in this case, I don't want them seeing each other's answers. So I'm gonna turn off that capability. And I'm not gonna let them edit their response. This is an exit ticket. I want them to walk away, answer, and then they're done. I'll go ahead and ask this question. Here's the student screen. You can see that this one's orange, it's ready to answer. Here's the instructions as well as the question. I'll click on view question. Again, the student needs to respond up here, not in the comments, not in the private comments. When the student is finished, they can press turn in. They will not be able to edit. Notice that it gives them that notice. Here's their answer and they cannot go back and unsubmit and turn in again. It's a locked in response. The teacher can then go in, view those responses. None of the other students can see it. You can see which ones are turned in and who it's still assigned to that still needs to respond. I'll go ahead and hit all, and then I'm able to see everyone. From here, I can give grades. They will not see that grade until I return it. So I'll show you what I mean. Student can go back, click on the assignment, see that they turned it in. When they wanna see their grade, the teacher will need to return it. They could add private comments as well. I already did that though. Kind of jumped ahead of myself. I'll go ahead and add a private comment down here though. That way you can see where those go. Here's the student. You can see that the score rests right here. The private comment is here. There is their answer, shows that it's graded. Those are four different scenarios where you could use questions in Google Classroom. You can treat it as a poll so they can see each other's answers. You can treat it as a check for understanding, give them a resource, have them answer a multiple choice question. You can do it a style where they have a forum where they can reply to each other, or you can do it as an exit ticket where they give a short answer and cannot see each other's responses or reply to one another.